Imagine a world where color no longer defines who we are. Where black and white no longer refer to race, but all the shades in between celebrate our shared humanity. This is the world Brazilian photographer Angelica Das pictures in her ambitious Human A project. For the series, she captured almost every human skin tone by taking photos of volunteers from around the globe and assigning these portraits to their matching shade from the industrial Pantone palette. Even if the first layer looks like that I'm just talking about color, the most important thing that you will find in my photos is exactly the lack of information. You don't know where they are, you don't know the economic status, you don't know nothing. One thing you know for sure is that they are human beings and deserve the same treatment. Born in Brazil, Das comes from a very mixed family and has suffered from discrimination firsthand due to skin color. She first began the Human A series in 2012. Since then, she's taken over 4,000 portraits from people in dozens of cities, hoping to inspire everyone to question racial stereotypes. I can assure you that in the 4,000 portraits, I have no black and white. Biology proves that there is just one race, that's the human race. It's a message that's gotten a huge response, and Das's photos have gone on display around the world. She even gave a TED talk in 2016. During a recent visit to Israel, Das met with students from a high school in Jaffa where Jews, Muslims, and Christians all study together. She donated 60 portraits to the school, which she described as an ideal setting for her work. That was uh, one of the best experiences that I have in, in my life. The Human Aid Project is ongoing, but Das hopes that one day, the ideas of race that have come to both define and divide us will disappear. In the meantime, she will continue traveling the world to spread her message of unity. We dehumanize human beings. In the moments that you look to the other as they are less human than you, this is a problem. Our Maya Margit here with us. Couldn't be a more timely exhibit, I think, than this right now. What is her next step? Where is it going next? Well, for her, this is really her life's work, and she's been taking thousands of these portraits all around the world. And she basically told me that she feels that she will continue to work on this project as long as race is still an issue, which is probably going to remain an issue. As you mentioned, there were also some other timely things happening with race at the moment. There were the portraits of the Obama family that were just revealed. Also very much of a racial background to those portraits by Kehinda Wiley and Amy Sherald as uh, well. And interesting, she's Brazilian because race and different, the varieties of race are such are so important in Brazil there. She did mention to me that she suffered personally from uh, discrimination in Brazil and that might have spurred her towards this project because she comes from a very mixed background. Mm -hmm. right. And as she said, there is one race, there's the human race and that I guess is the bottom line exactly. of her work. Maya Margit, thanks for being with us, bringing us that.